Hello everyone, so this will be the first video from Unit 3.2 in the International Economics IB um, Economics Syllabus. Uh, this whole series will be about exchange rates. In this first video, I'm going to talk about the determination of floating exchange rates. I'm going to explain that the value of an exchange rate in a floating system is determined by the demand for and the supply of a currency and I'm going to draw a diagram to show the determination of exchange rates in a floating exchange rate system. Let's get started. First, I'd like to define a floating exchange rate system. A floating exchange rate system is an exchange rate regime where the value of the currency is left to the market forces. It is determined by the demand for and the supply of your currency. Now, um, common misconceptions that IB economic students seem to have from my teaching experience. I'd like to clarify that the demand for a country's currency comes from foreigners. It's the foreigners that demand your currency. These are the foreigners that either wish to buy goods and services from your country, travel to your country, other, um, either for work or um, tourism, or save or invest in your country. The supply of the currency on the foreign exchange market, on the other hand, comes from the citizens of that country. So the supply of US dollars comes from US citizens because they are the ones that live in the US. They are the ones that already have those dollars. Um, it comes from the citizens of that country that wish to buy goods and services from other countries, travel to overseas countries, or save and invest in foreign countries. So remember, the demand on the foreign exchange market for your currency comes from foreigners and the supply on the foreign exchange market comes from citizens wishing to um, buy, travel, save or invest overseas. So what does that look like on a diagram? Well, basically you would draw the price of the currency. So here I'm drawing the price of the US dollars. That's the, 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 the currency that I'm studying in terms of another currency. I chose the euro here. The quantity would be the quantity of US dollars because I'm looking at the market for US dollars. Okay, The demand for the US dollars would be coming from foreigners, in this case Europeans, that would like to buy American goods and services, travel to the United States, or save or invest in the United States. The supply of the US, dollars would be, US dollar would be coming from US citizens and residents that wish to buy goods and services from overseas travel overseas or save or invest overseas. Now, where the two curves intersect, this gives us the exchange rate. So that would be the price of the US dollars in terms of euros. So the unit would be euros and the quantity of US dollars on the foreign exchange market.